Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead in a Box. My name is Leah. I'm super excited to have you here today. The video you're going to be watching today is of Tina and Tammy, who are our American guinea hog, Cooney Cooney mixed pigs that we have. Um, I actually shot the video in the later part of last week, um, but I wanted to put this in front of the video just to say that I thank you guys so much. I reached, I know it doesn't sound like very much, but my goal was to have 50 YouTube subscribers by Valentine's Day, and I reached that goal, and I just want to thank you guys very much. Um, without you, I would not have reached that goal, so I am super appreciative of that. So, let's watch Tina and Tammy. Okay, so in that previous clip, what I'm doing is I'm clearing off a spot to move Tina and Tammy. Tina and Tammy are our pigs. They are American Guinea Hog and Cooney Cooney mixed. Um, they are they are a homestead pit breed pig, however you want to say that. Uh, they are good for smaller homesteads. Um, when we got Tina and Tammy, we knew that we wanted pigs that were going to help us root up a lot of the ground here and help us clear off a lot of the property. And they have done just that. Uh, the area I'm weed eating, well, it's bushwagging. That is not a normal weed eater. <laughs> it's got a, a, a saw blade on it. Um, but the area that I am uh, weed whacking, uh, I will move their pin over that and they'll kind of go in and root up all of the big rocks and I go in behind them and take out all of the rocks and then we'll go in and we'll seed that with grass so grass will start growing there. Um, they have been a huge huge help to our homestead. Uh, they've helped me till the gardens. They've like I said uh, when we first moved them here we moved them every once a week and like where they were at like I'm looking at it out here and you can see the patches where they were. The grass is so much greener. It's, a, I mean, it's really pretty. And after we've moved them, even for it being February, I have green grass. It's very odd. But uh, after we moved them, I went in with like a rake. It kind of raked their manure around. And now that the chickens are out, the chickens really, they helped me do a lot of that. So, so one of the big things that my husband Tree and I have said from the beginning on our homestead is that we want our animals to help us with our homestead. We want them to work with us. Uh, we don't want to be working against them or they against us. So we do utilize our animals uh, any way possible. Uh, these pigs, we would probably never get this particular breed again uh, because we chose them to do the job that we have for them. Uh, and they do take a little bit longer to grow out, which was okay for us because we have work for them to do. After all of the work is done uh, and we put them in the freezer, uh, our, we've talked about our next breed, the next pigs that we get. We don't really know a breed yet, but they will be more of a butcher breed style pig uh, than basically to be able to process them faster. Right now, these pigs are working great for us because like I said, we have work for them to do, but afterwards, um, we will strictly just be having pigs to refill the pork in our freezer. So I'm gonna show you guys and introduce you to Tina and Tammy, and I'm super excited about them. Uh, they are small pigs. Uh, I'm gonna put some clips in here from whenever I first got them, uh, and you can see how much they've grown. I got them in September. Uh, and they've just been, look, I've, gr I love them. <laughs> They're my girls. We hang out. Uh, they are sunbathing right now. All right. So I got the pig pen moved, uh, super easy. One of the things that my husband tree and I discussed from the very beginning before taking off on this homestead venture was, uh, we follow one of our mentors is Joe Salatin and everything on his farm is movable. And so that is one thing that we wanted to make sure to implement here was that everything is movable and that was movable for me. Uh, and this pig pen, it has, it has 12 wheels all together. Three, six, yeah, I had to count. It has 12 wheels all together, three on each side. My husband just welded the um, uh, cat pig paneling to the metal here. And I, I have a picture of it, so I'll link it somewhere around here. I'll add a picture of it, what it looks like all together right after we finish it. But uh, it's super easy to move. I highly recommend it. 
Um, it's built to last, you know, uh, it, especially if you know how to weld. If you know how to weld, I highly recommend a movable pig pen for sure. You don't have to worry about the pig staying in their own feces for too many, too many days in a row. Uh, it makes me feel better and ensures me that I don't have to give them any medicine or antibiotics or things like that. So uh, this is our movable pig pen and now we'll meet Tina and Tammy. All right, y'all, this is Tina and Tammy. I'm sorry the sun's really bright. It is, I'm thankful the sun's out, but it is gonna, probably gonna be bright on this video. Uh, these are my girls. Uh, these are actually pasture raised pigs. A lot of people raise them in pasture uh, because they can survive without grain. Um, they are grass fed hogs, and that is why, I, that's why they're good for a lot of people's homesteads. Uh, mine are obviously spoiled. And once uh, all the grass kind of um, died off here at the house, I upped their amount of grain that I feed them. I do give them some alfalfa now, but not very often. Generally, they just eat grain and they're spoiled girls. And I am very well aware that uh, they are probably overweight. Uh, and we're gonna work on that, you know, we are. Um, but they're loved and <laughs> they love me and I love them and that's all that really matters. But uh, they are a smaller breed and like, and you can tell they're smaller. Um, I went to the Tulsa state fair this past year and I walked through the ag building and the pigs there are huge. I used to show pigs in high school and they weren't near as massive as what they are now. And I looked at my mom and my dad and I was like, what are they feeding them? Like, I felt bad for the pigs because they're just so big um, and <laughs> it's just crazy to me but anyway these are smaller girls uh, I do like that about them um, but there it's just like I said once they do the work that we need them to uh, probably wouldn't get this particular breed again but I wanted to show you guys Tina and Tammy I feel like all the other animals have had their spotlight on the homestead so I wanted to spotlight them <laughs> Uh, they are good girls. If you have any questions about them, drop them down in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for coming and watching this channel. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel, like it. Again, shoot me a comment, just say hey. Um, I'm always sending y'all good vibes. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much for coming hanging out with us. We'll see y'all next time. Good girl.